This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. All right. Well, good morning. Everybody is here. So um, yesterday I was talking about what could be worse than heroin is heroin mixed with something bad. And one of the things that they've been mixing heroin with is something called Trank, T-R-A-N-Q. And I asked, and some people had heard of it. I had not really heard of it much. I think it's popular in other parts of the country. And basically, it's a uh, another powder injectable drug that is getting mixed with heroin, potentially to make heroin last longer or give people a higher high. And what Trank is, is a uh, veterinary drug used for sedation in veterinary clinics. And it's uh, similar to Presidex. And it causes some of the same effects as heroin with respiratory depression, ultra mental status, small pupils. So it can look like heroin as well, but it doesn't get reversed as well by naloxone. So sometimes what happens is somebody thinks they're using fentanyl, EMS thinks, or we think they're using fentanyl and they're sedated. And then you give them sometimes two milligrams, four milligrams, 10 milligrams of naloxone, and they don't really reverse. And sometimes you just have to manage them supportively, sometimes intubate them if they're really, you know, having severe respiratory depression. So that's kind of the first part of it is just kind of it, how it looks. In general, you know, there's a lot of things out there that look like opiates now, which is kind of a good takeaway point. So if we think someone's on opiates, but they're not really responding to Narcan, it could be fentanyl mixed with all sorts of things. So, you know, we just have to kind of treat the patient in front of us, support them, and not assume that Narcan's always going to work. The other interesting thing about Trank, which is kind of how a patient first asked me if, they, if I thought they were getting Trank in their heroin, was because of the skin wounds. Uh, they're called Trank burns that uh, people describe. And there's... You know, some of it is just when people inject drugs, there's a chance that they're going to get bad skin wounds from infections and poor injection techniques. But potentially, Trank could be causing a couple more problems because it does have some vasoconstriction kind of problems where it narrows the blood vessels. So there might be a little bit of um, kind of ischemia at the site where people are injecting, giving them worse wounds than just the regular wounds that people get from injecting drugs. So that's Trank, and hopefully it won't be super popular out here, but it is another thing to watch out for. In the the world of up and coming drugs. Any questions or comments? Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.